morning friends it's Nancy and I am back to show you how I, I made these uh, double pocket envelopes. Um, so I'm starting with a, uh, a sheet of paper that's been tea dyed. So this came from a book about flowers apparently. <laughs> so I'm going to start, start in this corner with a ruler and a pencil and I'm going to mark two and a half inches across and two and a half inches down and then match these two marks up and cut. So that makes, that will make the a pocket about three and five eighths to in total. Okay, now I'm going to grab my scoreboard so clear clearly I should make this clear. That's what I mean. Uh, if you want your pocket to be wider, you just need to cut down further. So maybe you want to measure two and five eighths or two and three quarters, right? Okay. Maybe I'll do it this way. So I'm putting this flat against the top of my big scoreboard I'm looking for bone folder and wherever that end is wherever the end of that that line that we cut is This way. So these flaps are extra, extra long. I'm going to trim them down. So in this case, I cut it two inches beyond the fold. I'm not saying that's the correct measurement. I'm saying that's the measurement I'm using. Two inches should be plenty. In fact, I might even want to trim it down more, but that should be plenty to, yeah, see how it covers just like buttons on a shirt. Okay. Now, I want to get my scoreboard again. And this time, I want to determine, this is the top, uh, how tall I want my, oops, smash bang, sorry. Let's say five. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do two lines here. So 
so I did five and then the second one I want at about um, two and a half inches longer so I'm gonna put another score line at seven and a half So what I need to do is cut on this this five inch line here. Okay. So that one's straight. And I'm just gonna take a little hunk out to remove some bulk. Turn it around. And then just a little, little, the tiniest piece of pie ever. Okay, so that goes that way. I'm not going to I guess I can glue that. Let's glue that. And now I wish I had inked it first. Okay, now this one. This goes like this, but I'm trying to figure out how much, how much I want to trim. Okay, I'm going to start by cutting a line where the two fold marks crossed. See where that X is right there? Okay. Now, I want to do a, a 90 degree cut here, and then it's also, it's also crossing that double fold line there. Okay. And then it goes down like that, and these wrap around. Okay, uh, but we need to add some lace first. And I had lace out. Let's just grab some. three and a half inches so I'm gonna cut two two five inch pieces I guess
So this is uh, pretty long, so I can cut a bit off the bottom. I think I'm going to ink that corner first before anything else happens because that'll be a pain. Um, I mean, I don't have to have that bulk there. I can cut that off. Or if I if I wanted to make sure I had lots of room in that pocket, I could pull those, put those gussets on the front. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'm not sure that I did that before. But I think that's what I'm going to do this time. And I'll use this. Um, fabric tag because it's going to stick to that lace. Oh my goodness, all the pit all the <laughs> all the pins are out, all the glues are out. I want it to still be able to fold over without too many problems. I don't need all of that. Let's cut some off. bulk in the corner. Let's cut some off. going to grab a couple of bulldog clips. Thank you. 
good actually. I guess it stuck very well. All right. Fold that down. Now, do I have I'm looking for one of my little oh, there? I'm going to put that right there. I was thinking maybe I could use a tiny picture. I don't think I have anything tiny enough. Oh well. sticking a piece of paper in there so I can ink that edge. There. So there's the double pocket. I hope this made sense. I think once you fold it, you'll have it figured out. <laughs> or maybe not. Uh, but give it a shot. Let me know how you make out. All right. Uh, take care. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>